How you guys doing? Welcome back to BP Pro Wrestling Corner right here on YouTube.com. This is your boy Skippy. I'm boy BP right here. Right here to talk about Monday Night Raw. And it wasn't too bad of a Raw, I don't think, this week. Uh, it was better. It was better. It's getting better. Yeah. Especially with this whole Survivor Series thing coming up uh, this Sunday. Uh, it's going to be it's looking pretty interesting, man. Uh, first matchup, man. Uh, tag team match. Becky Lynch, Charlotte taking on the Iconics. Two of my favorite women. I love the Iconics. I like I like Becky. I like Charlotte. So I have no problem with any, any of this. I get this match for three stars. It was actually pretty good. Uh, of course, Becky Lynch and Charlotte picked up a win, which I don't think they really needed. But you know, I think the Iconics should. Uh, you know, they should like. You know, I don't know. I like to see them on TV. It's, yeah, it's nice to see them on TV. Exactly. Yeah, an opportunity. They, yeah, I, I love them too. But it was pretty cool uh, when they all four got in the ring. It's Mojo's music kits. I'm like, what the hell is going on? <coughs> yeah. I'm going to find out Smojo is actually part of the commentating team for this week of Monday Night Raw. If you guys do know, he's still injured from his injury. So, you know, they let Joe step in. Uh, it was weird how they did it, though. Yeah. Interrupting them. To... The girls, yeah. Well, I mean, the match hasn't started yet, but it was still weird. I didn't know what to think of it when he came out. But, yeah, uh, during this match, I mean, after the match was over with, man, uh, Baszler, Duke, and Shafir, man, all came in there and just demolished all four of these women. Yeah. So, NXT is ready to floor this Sunday, dude. They haven't stopped since uh, Crown Jewel. <laughs> Not exactly. He's totally right about that. I mean, holy crap. I mean, they weren't I, even safe in the UK because no, NXT UK. Man, absolutely. It was uh -huh. nuts. It was just crazy. I mean,. <laughs> I don't know. It's just the NXT is just totally coming into SmackDown and Raw and saying, "Look, we are a dominant brand. We don't give a shit what anyone thinks." And this is the way they're handling it because yeah. they've been going to they've been going to Raw and SmackDown simultaneously and just wiping everybody out as they can. But I'm gonna tell you what, man. This week on uh, NXT, Triple H has opened the doors. Wide open for SmackDown or Raw superstars to come there, and I'm sure something's going to happen. I mean, guess it is to go. It is to go home show for Survivor Series, and plus uh, SmackDown coming up. You heard that? You got all the NXT stars going there, all the Raw stars going to SmackDown this week. Uh, you know, the go home show for Survivor Series yeah, and you, NXT Takeover. My bad. Look at it wrong. SmackDown should have the advantage across the board with War Games coming up. You would think. These guys are gonna beat the hell out of each other and then have to team up the next night. Yeah, because they got a yeah, and they see takeover. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's all. That's crazy. Uh, next up happened here. Uh, Zach Ryder, Kurt Hawkins is back in the back, man, talking about how they won an opportunity to go against the Viking Graders. Really, that's winning an opportunity because you won a match, so now you want to go for the tag team championship against the Viking Raiders. I would run the other way. What the hell are these clowns thinking? I would say, I mean, I'd rather watch <laughs> the Viking Raiders beat up these guys than a bunch of nobodies every week. I well, that's that. true. That's true. But, <laughs> as of May, finally, out of nowhere, AOP shows up, wipes out Zack Ryder, and Kurt Hawkins, dude. Yeah. <laughs> About Pretty time. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> About time. You know, I want to see is AOP versus Viking Raiders. That could be very interesting. Did that happen in NXT or no? I don't think that did happen in NXT. I think, I think AOP was already gone before the Viking Raiders yeah. got there. Yeah. So that, that's going to be interesting to see if that does actually take place. Because you know Viking like Raiders are the Raw Tag Team Champions. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, you know, I don't know. We'll just have to see. Uh, maybe that could be something good for uh, TLC, man. I think that's the next pay-per-view, right? Uh, I don't I think really it's know. December I think we keep talking about it, but I think it should be, but you we never know what WWE. Yeah, they might change it up. But we got Survivor Series this month. I think TLC is December, and of course, the big one of the big ones January is the Royal Rumble. Anyway, man, uh, another great match uh, I thought was great. That I don't think uh, the, either one of these guys get enough credit, dude. Uh, well, Alberto, he just started, but it was Alberto Car Carrillo against Carl Anderson, one of my favorite guys. From the OC, dude. He reminds me of old school Arn Anderson. I love, I, I just love Carl Anderson. I gave this match three and a half, four stars. It was, I thought it was actually really interesting. Both these guys did a really great job at doing the match. Even though, uh, surprising, Humberto Carrillo ended up winning the match here against Carl Anderson. And I think he ends up uh, 
getting a number one contender shot against AJ Styles next week on Raw yeah. for the U.S. title. So that would be really uh, interesting to watch. Uh, this match, though, I I'll get three and a half. Yeah, it, it was a good match. Uh, get the run with the Street Profits and all that. Yeah, I thought, I thought that was interesting. Yeah, because of course the OC was out there, AJ and. Uh, with Gallows out there with Carl Anderson, so, you know, they made it even. Street Profits came out there and helped out a little bit. I love the Street Profits, but unfortunately, with the Viking Raiders on Raw, they're, they're probably not getting belts anytime soon. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what, man. The Street Profits and the Viking Raiders had one hell of a match back at NXT, even though Street Profits did come up short. Nah. But it was still a great match. Uh, so, you know. Yeah, I want to say that's the one we watched together a while back. I think so, yeah. yeah. I think so. It was really a good one. Uh, next up, man, uh, I don't know what to think about these guys. I don't know what to think about the storyline. It's just getting out of hand. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Bobby Lashley and Lana, you know, I don't understand. But anyway, Lashley ended up taking on No Way Jose. You know, it's a squash match. I gave it one star. Uh, Lashley won. But, but uh, this whole thing with Lana and Bobby at Rusev, I don't understand. I don't know what's going to happen. It's getting crazy, dude. Yeah, it, week to week. I'm done with it too. It's. <laughs> I don't want to get it's it. It's been too long. Like, I think it's been a month too long, and it just started like a month ago. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. And, it? and it's not ending at Survivor Series that I know of. So, I mean, honestly, when is this going to fucking end? <laughs> I don't. Know. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> that was uh, was pretty crazy. Next up was a very interesting match, man. Whoever won this next match. Was going to be part of the men's Survivor Series team, actually be the captain of the Raw Survivor Series team, and uh, Seth Rollins, my guy Seth, of course, and of course another one of my guys I really love so much, Andrade with Selena, or Selena Vega. Uh, and these guys put on one hell of a match, man. Before, the only reason why I, I should give this match more stars, but I didn't because I hate when someone interferes. I hate when there's a DQ. I hate anything like that. And surprisingly enough, are you kidding me? Really? The Lucha House Party comes in and interferes in the match? I thought they were coming in to help Andrade out because I thought Andrade was going to be the new the new leader of the Lucha House Party at first. Because, you know, it's a beer match. Got to so. help the Lucha House Party somehow. I mean, that would make some sense. But, but man, they end up beating up Andrade, too. Yeah, so. it was a great match. Uh, we'd love to see this play out and uh, get a decisive winner. But, yeah, like you said, I'd, I'd have to rate it like three stars before yeah. the ending. Yeah, Seth Rollins, and then, Seth Rollins and Andrade were working together at the end to get rid of the Lucha House Party. Yeah. That was interesting to see that. And they are on uh, Team Raw together. So. Yeah, Andrade is on Team. So, evidently, they got their heads together, them two do anyway, for the Survivor Series match coming up this Sunday. So, man, I don't know. That was crazy. Another one of my guys, man, this guy, I don't know what the hell he's thinking here. But I love him for doing it, and I like Buddy Murphy. This son of a bitch goes up and knocks on Aleister Black's door, and no one answers right away, and then he walks away, and then, of course, Aleister Black look, comes out and looks all around. Like, Who the hell was that? Yeah. Who the hell was that? <laughs> you know? I don't understand. It was crazy. Uh, but when that happened, at the same time it happened, Triple H shows up with a caravan again. Yeah. You know? There he goes. He shows up with all his peeps from NXT. A big caravan. I don't know. He's ready. They're you know ready what's strange is, you know, where was them, like, them trying to stop him from coming in the building? Yeah. Like, like they, they made yeah. no security efforts. Triple H just can walk around to wherever the hell he wants. But, hey, <laughs> why not? Triple H is a badass, but... <laughs> I'll tell you, like, he's had no resistance thus far. Like, really, yeah, his story family, the McMahon's. There you go. Yeah, you <laughs> Storyline wise, it makes right. no sense. Like, right. if you're Paul Heyman running Raw, you should have something. And that's it. another thing. They said they said to us backstage, or they said, you know, like online and stuff like that. But they haven't acknowledged that on Raw. No. They said Paul Heyman run, is running it, but on Raw, Paul Heyman's nothing except for Brock Lesnar's advocate. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying. So they even had said that. Yeah, there's no authority figure at all on either show right now. Right, because uh, no Eric, Eric's gone. NXT really doesn't have an authority figure either. I know that Regal is the general manager, yeah. but how often does he actually? Right, he shows up like once in a blue moon to straighten out a match or straighten out yeah. a call, you know, get a match going or something. I don't know. 
But yeah, that was really crazy. So yeah, Triple H shows up. It's crazy. There's another match right here. I'm signing my buddy, uh, Buddy Murphy, my man here, taking on Akira Tozawa. Both of you guys are both from 205 Live. That was interesting. I thought it was a great match. It could have been better. I gave it three and a half stars, all because of Buddy Murphy and how good Akira Tozawa really is. Yeah, that was a good match. I thought yeah, it was really I'll good. Four stars, honestly. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Buddy Murphy did end up winning the match. So yeah. that was fantastic. I thought it was great. Uh, and next up, man, I don't understand what the hell Eric Rowan is doing. What what has he got inside that stupid head? What is it? A snake? A guan? What the hell has he got? I, I got a turtle? I got, <laughs> I got no answers for you here, buddy. Uh, has he got Sister Abigail's uh, spirit in a jar? What the hell? I don't know. Maybe uh, Daniel Bryan's hemp belt? Who knows? Can I smoke it up later? <laughs> I don't know what he's got. He's carrying on something. But he takes on a nobody, a no squash match. Uh, Alex Malcolm here. Whoever the heck this guy was. One star for me. I had to give one star because, you know, it was Rowan. You know, he deserves at least a star for squashing a nobody, I oh, guess. Oh, sure. Whatever. Yeah. 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 <laughs> squashing a nobody. He deserves it. And next up, man, two of my favorite guys. Drew McIntyre. Excellent. My other favorite guy, oh, your like, favorite guy, yeah. Kevin Owens. <laughs> these, guys, these guys, these uh, guys, man, tore the house down, dude. I wanted to get this match five stars. I don't know why I didn't. I should have. I only gave it four. No <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's probably why I yeah. didn't give it five stars because of that. It could easily have been five stars. Oh, it was headed yeah. that way for sure. Triple H came out at first. And you know what? I thought Skippy was going to be right. Because he's, he called it, he's been calling this for weeks now. That Kevin Owens was going to join Bat Batting Steve. So I thought that's what exactly was going to happen. But, you know, that's it's, it did not happen. But I thought that's what was Why happen. wouldn't Kevin Owens? Look what Kevin Owens had at NXT. Right. And then Triple H said it. Yeah. Who more than Kevin Owens helped build NXT? And he even tried to get him in there saying Kurt Angle screwed you over. Shane McMahon screwed you, you know, screwed you over. Him. Fired him. Both yeah, guys both fired, guys fired him. him. So there you go. And he tried to get, they tried to lure Kevin Owens and like that, and I thought for sure he was going to do that. And that was so funny, dude. Uh, maybe Kevin Owens would have, but he didn't really get a chance. Yeah, because uh, Adam Cole said no. Yeah. See, you. Undisputed came out there, and uh, they just put the smack down on both these guys. And uh, that wasn't it because Team Raw came out, and not only did Team Raw come out, but SmackDown was there as well. And yeah. so they really put put it uh, on. I mean, these guys really. Uh, I give it four stars, even though it, it I could have been five, but like you said, no, nah, it's not going to happen. Yeah. Uh, anyway, after that, man, uh, next up we had a pretty good women's match, one on one, one of the one half of the uh, women's tag team champions, Oscar taking on Natalia here. I'm not I'm not a big fan of Natalia anymore. I know she's a legend, and she I'm deserves so a bit of her. I'm tired of being of her too. You know what I'm saying? She needs a character change. You know what I? Dude, I think that would be fantastic. Like, Bailey got repackaged? Why can't Natalia yeah. repackage? For Natalia, it's always the same thing. It's yeah, the, it's the heart foundation, typical. I'm the best there is, the best there was, best there ever. And her little, little cat gimmick thing she's got going on. <laughs> Asuka picked up the win here, three stars for me, but, you know, I don't know. Uh, I, yeah, I, I like Asuka enough to give it three stars. That's why, yeah. Um, I was like, why? Yeah, I, I love the new heel Asuka in Kyrie's hand. That. That was awesome. I didn't give two shits about the Kabuki Warriors until they went heel. Dude, fantastic. And Asuka, man, with the whole great Muda uh, miss thing going on. That's I love it. That was great. You know, again, here we go. Going into the the uh, main event here. WWE Tag Team Championships on the line. The Viking Raiders taking on Randy Orton and partner of shooting. And who the hell did he pick? Surprisingly enough. Yeah. Ricochet. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, considering the teasing of them maybe having a feud to choose him in the... Uh, and I thought the match was fantastic. Maybe it was the show Team Unity headed into team, uh, Survivor Series because I think these are the... Yeah. Are these Team Raw members? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ricochet and Orton on Team Raw together. Yeah. Uh, and Seth of course, Rams. you know, the Viking Raiders has got that, that match against Undisputed Air and uh, New Day. Yeah. So they're in it, you know. Uh, Orton and Ricochet, uh, Raw members, uh, you know, and uh, here we go. Any, what we talk about, SmackDown shows up, NXT shows up, all hell breaks loose in the middle of the ring, you got everybody out there battling it out. 
this match I didn't give no stars. It should, but it could have had stars if they would at least let something happen there because yeah. the Viking Raiders and Randy Orton Ricochet actually did did a really good job, man, of uh, telling a story until NXT and SmackDown shows up. Right. But hey, Randy Orton, how many RKOs did he get in before <laughs> before he were beat down? Yeah. He got NXT guys a few times. He got uh, SmackDown guys a few times. Yeah. <laughs> that's great they held the ring for a minute just they did know. they did yeah. yeah and ricochet was awesome too man it was fantastic yeah i don't know that was, that was a great role to me an entertaining role i mean the no. matches weren't exactly like uh nxt or AEW quality i no. would say yeah so but, um just, no, just no. entertaining good storytelling going on here today. This has probably been a better Raw than there was in a long time. As a matter of fact, I see on ratings that the ratings even picked up. Yeah, I, and I'm going to tell you why these ratings are picking up, guys. I'm telling you right now. Because you got when you got superstars from SmackDown and NXT coming in on the show, something's going to happen. I guarantee you, watch Wednesday and Friday. NXT's going to fucking pick up and so will SmackDown in the ratings. Yeah. Because you got a who's who of superstars in the WWE. Just getting ready, just getting from ready for Survivor Series, uh, doing anything they can to prove themselves before the big show. To me, I think the most entertaining or part of this is we still don't know who's on the NXT team. <laughs> Raw and SmackDown have showed their hands. We know five who's on. and five. Who's NXT's five? I already know. I have a feeling I already know. I'm gonna say Undisputed Era, all four members, and Triple H. There's your five right there. That would be a hell of a team. <laughs> There's your five. I think that's well, what it is. As a matter of fact, that's what. I, matter of fact, that's what's going to happen. Uh, we'll find out Wednesday on NXT. I guarantee you, something's going to happen. You can't have the undisputed era because they're in a tag team match. So now it's there Adam you go. Cole. So it might be Adam Cole, Keith Lee, Matt Riddle. I forgot about that. Yeah. Champa. I would definitely say Champa. Champa is definitely going to be one. All right, here you go. Here's my four pick. Maybe. Or we're going to go Adam Cole, Triple H, uh, Keith Lee, Matt Riddle, and Johnny Gargano. Or, if Johnny's still hurt, Finn Balor. <laughs> That's, That's a great team. Because, uh, you know, Bellatine's hurt too. Even, so. I wasn't even thinking of Triple H competing. I honestly wasn't. I don't know. So here's, let me give my team. I'm going to go with. Team Captain Adam Cole. Okay, yeah. Tommaso Ciampa. All right. Yeah. Keith Lee, of course. Yeah. Do I want to go Matt Riddle? Or Dijakovic? I'm leading Matt, Matt Riddle and Dijakovic both. Well, there's a five right there. That would be five. See, I forgot. So, all right, so you're not putting Triple H in the match then, so. No. I, okay, I, so I there you go. All right, so see, that makes sense. NXT loves putting over the, or not NXT, but Triple H loves putting over the young guys, so why would he steal the spotlight right now? That's true. That that's my see. Thought. I'm I'm thinking here. Uh, Roger Strong's inside of a match between AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura. You got Jinder Speed Era going the tag team way. Adam Cole is going to be on Team NXT. You got Ciampa is going to be on there. Riddle. I would say Lee. Cole as the champion should be the team captain. Yeah, today. I'm sure he is. So you see, I, I, the reason why I said for waste is I'm hearing that WWE or some kind of executives, maybe for Fox or something like that, is clamoring for. Triple H to be on a Survivor Series team. So that's the only reason why I said that. It would probably draw more ratings in, and if Triple H had to, I'm sure he could. But I honestly think Triple H would rather let his guy shine than... Right. I mean, Triple H has done it all. He doesn't need to step foot in the ring ever again. Now, I would be upset if he didn't. Because, that's true. But, that's but true. he doesn't have to. Uh, but here we go, guys. Uh, that was your Raw, right there, Raw review. But we're going to be coming up with your NXT and AEW reviews. And you got to remember, you got TakeOver coming up. I think me and Skippy might be end up doing that by ourselves. And then uh, we'll also have a Safari Series uh, preview coming up. Probably at the Cordy Compound, maybe. Or hoping. Maybe. See Spirit 77. See, what he, I don't know what he's got planned yet. But if not, me and Skippy will do that also. And uh, that'll be that. And then, uh, man, this what a, yeah. this is gonna be a crazy week for uh, WWE. So. I'll tell you the most fascinating thing, and we haven't talked about this, is it seems like Triple H is teasing somebody is going to join NXT. 
He attempted Seth Rollins. He attempted Kevin Owens. I think, we're, I think we're going to see somebody turn and NXT is going to win because of it. It might be Kevin Owens. I, I would love to see him go back. I don't know. Kevin Owens is part of Raw. I don't know. We have to see. John Morrison. Where the hell is he at? I, I would say he's probably a Royal Rumble surprise or Now, i got a few things that we want to talk about that we already said. Uh, uh, the, I know this thing's a virus series preview, but uh, now we're saying, we're hearing that The Miz is going to be part of the whole Daniel Bryan Fiend. Yeah, I think he's uh, the Fiend's next feud after Daniel Bryan. Okay. No, the original make, plan's called for Fiend and The Miz, but... What if they make this a troll match? I don't just know. Just to get the would. title off of Fiend, maybe? Maybe. I do See, I don't know, though, because I, I think it's too early to do that. I really yeah. do. They, really they did do. it to him the last time, too. Yeah, I really... And the title this is a better character yeah. than we was. So. And that one was still great, though. Yeah, exactly. So... I don't know, yeah. but uh, yeah, we got that uh, happening. We got, of course, the the middle titles happening: the North American Championship, NXT Championship, uh, the uh, Intercontinental and the yeah, United well, States Championship, the Tag Team Championship. You got the Women's Baszler and uh, Bailey and there's Becky. Not a whole lot and, of uh, uh, non-brand supremacy matches. I mean, we got like no. two: Brock Lesnar and Rey Mysterio. Yeah. And, that's it. And everything else is going to be every every other match besides that, besides them two, is going to be all NXT and SmackDown versus Raw. I, I read somewhere WWE didn't realize until recently that the problem they did with this, because these elimination matches coming up, they got to book a lot of decisions. And this is a stacked card for Survivor Series. You got to eliminate fifteen guys. You know, it's it's going to be crazy. Stacked card. What's going to happen? You got the women's women's uh. Elimination match, Sasha Banks, Team Raw. Yeah, yeah. she's the leader of that. Who's the leader? Oh, Charlotte, leader of Team SmackDown. Uh, you got it backwards. Sasha SmackDown, there Charlotte is. Raw. There it is. Sasha yeah. SmackDown, Charlotte Raw. Who's NXT? Oh, we have yet to. Rhea Ripley, my bad. Rhea I, mean, Ripley we're, I think we're assuming that. Right? Yeah, I think I it's don't... Ripley. I think it's going to be Ripley. Yeah. Don't. Again, quote me NXT on that. hasn't showed their hand yet. Well, they have a little bit. Kaylee Lee Ray, Ripley. Yosha Rai. Cancel Ray is supposed to be in there, but Tegan Knox. Maybe Dakota Kai. I see, I don't know what's going to happen here. Because you gotta remember, takeover's coming up, so we don't know what the hell's gonna happen there first. Yeah. So whatever yeah, happens. As far as I know, we haven't gotten to any of the NXT teams yet. I don't know. Yeah. We, anyway, we can guess and, and yeah, we can guess. You can only speculate, see what's gonna happen. Hopefully yeah. we'll find out on Wednesday. Yeah, definitely. But hey, thanks a lot for joining us once again right here on the corner. Uh, oh, please like, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and always remember to hit that post notification button up there so you can get all our videos, that little bell button. And uh, as for my buddy here, my boy Skippy, and myself, and are you RCW clowns out there, yard tards, <laughs> please meet us right back here next time on The Corner.